so how how do the injuries to Yamamoto and Mookie Betts harm the Dodgers long term success in 2024 in your mind, John? Yeah, the only thing it does is it diminishes maybe how many wins they were going to get to win their division by. I mean, they safely, unless somebody gets super hot in the National League West, they safely will win the division. And they should still get one of the two best records in the National League. The roster was built for it. But there's no doubt between them and the Braves, you couldn't ask uh, or want two guys to get hurt like these two guys did for each organization. So it's definitely something that's different for the Dodgers because they're going to get them back. The Braves aren't getting theirs back. So they have to play the remainder of the year without their two stars. So at least you know you're getting them back, and the Dodgers are in the right division right now. Um, again, given something unforeseen with the either the Padres or the Giants or the Diamondbacks, it's really not going to hurt their chances of, of putting themselves in position for that deep postseason run that they're hoping for. And then uh, Anthony Rizzo goes down on Sunday night in um... – in Fenway Park as the Red Sox take the last two games of a series. You were in Fenway over the weekend. Did the Red Sox expose anything uh, on the Yankees over this weekend, John? You know, it's a great question. I kind of think they did Um, in this regard. Look, the Yankees lineup works starting pitchers about as good as anybody. They take a lot of pitches. They're deep in counts, and they kind of take care of business as they should when they're built right. But what happened with the Red Sox, they spun a lot of breaking balls to them. They got ahead of them early, and they really took the sting out of their lineup. And I don't know if that's a format moving forward that you can have success against the Yankees, but it it made them go just a little bit neutral and backwards to think that they're a little more human because they were on such a great roll. So give the Red Sox credit. On paper, there were some mismatches, and they didn't adhere to it, and they won two out of three, and they're now one six in a row where they almost feel like they could be a playoff team. There wasn't a lot expected out of the Red Sox. So, I'm again, good thing they don't play the game on paper because they have the hottest starter in baseball, R- R- Rodone, pitching, and then this guy named Criswall just carved up a little bit of the lineup even though he only went four innings. So, I think you're right. There's a little bit of that concern that creeps in every once in a while, uh, but I'm sure that the Yankees will figure out a way to close that door Well, again, they, uh, yeah, offensively. Yeah, they have 50 wins. They got their 50th win on, on Friday night, but then they lost the last two. The you know, and the, There was the Boston three party in hoops on uh, Tuesday night and the Boston steal party over the weekend. They stole nine bases on the Yankees in yeah. one game. So that's something else they potentially may have exposed. Garrett Cole, though, does return on Wednesday. What, what are you looking to see out of Garrett Cole, John? I think I think the biggest thing is he knows how to pitch with the stuff he has, and he may have used one more, let's just say, rehab start to build his numbers up, but he's going to do that now, and he's facing the you know probably the second best team, or some people think the best team in the American League, the Baltimore Orioles. So that's going to be a good test for him. But I think the fact that he has been so experienced in how he pitches with his his stuff that he won't overthrow, he won't try to do too much, and I'd say three starts is the maximum that it should take for him to get into a groove when you've had a cert, when you've had a, an injury and you've missed this amount of time, I don't care how good you are. It still takes you about three starts to get in that uh, routine that you're used to catch the rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to three Eastern for free.